All right, Good Day Country Club Hills residents, I'm Eric Booker, and I am here at a very familiar place. We are at the Marcus Theaters Country Club Hills, of course, in the amazing Take 5 Lounge. Uh, what an amazing place to be. And in fact, uh, before we get far into the show, we do want to remind you guys that are watching uh, to take advantage of the Magical Movie Rewards. Of course, it's an app that you can download using the uh, App Store as well as uh, the Google Play Store. Some of the benefits of being a Magical Movie Rewards member is that they're absolutely no no fees for online or mobile ticketing. There are free refills on all of your fountain drinks. There's pre-release member-only movie screenings, so you get the first look at a lot of the films that are coming out. There are special offers on food and beverages, and of course, on the very popular $5 Tuesdays, there is free popcorn only at the Country Club Hills location. So we invite you guys to take advantage of all of that. And of course, we thank our friends here at Marcus Theaters for allowing us to use the Take 5 Lounge for this interview. Now let's get on to the reason why we're here. Who is Quentin Sanders? Yeah, I would say Quentin Sanders, speaking in third person. <laughs> <laughs> I am a kind, generous, awesome, cool going actor, director, writer, and parkour artist, and yeah. I first met you at um, a performance of Step Up to Fame, I believe yeah, it was, it at does. Rich South High School. Mm -hmm. uh, you were in that uh, performance. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, totally. So for that role, I was Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> he was the, well, of course, the villain of the high school and the best dancer in the high school. Yeah. And essentially, my job was to make sure that my squad won no matter what, yeah, yeah. all means necessary. Yeah, yeah. And I did a lot of cool flips, a lot of cool tricks, and of yeah. course I acted in it. A true Vision, non-for-profit organization. My mom was actually the owner of it and the founder. And you know, I started there in seventh grade and that's where I found my, uh, my love for acting. Yeah. So then I just kicked it off doing a lot of um, theaters from True Vision. I was Barry Gordy and the Wiz. I was yeah. flying monkey and <laughs> I did all that good stuff there. Yeah. It was yeah. Uh, pretty awesome, amazing. You know, you're amazingly talented. Uh, you do everything from acting to uh, directing, yeah. you're a writer, uh, and you also do post-production, so you edit as well. Yeah, I do edit, yep. When did this, you know, this passion for all of these different facets within the industry, when did they begin to, you know, come like forth in your vision? Yeah, Yeah, I want to say when I was 13 years old, I started watching a lot of parkour and free running videos from 3Run. Okay. And, you know, they, uh, they made me feel really, really good about myself. And that's when I said, okay, I can edit. So I, I kind of studied watching their videos, yeah. watching their uh, the way they did it, and I was like, okay, that's not too bad. That's, yeah, that's yeah. pretty easy. Yeah. And then I found out that you can you can actually do stunts and act. So yeah. I was like, why not do both? Yeah, so yeah. then I just got started like jumping into doing some stunts, doing some front flips, doing some back flips. Yeah. Self taught, no gymnastics, and then uh, just started hitting it off. My heart goes out to Jackie Sanders because I know she was panicking, <laughs> looking out of the kitchen window. What, right? Exactly <laughs> what? You're right, the kitchen window, that's it. <laughs> I just took a guess on that, out of the was, kitchen window? That's interesting, yeah, yeah. You know, my mom and my dad would come out there and say, what are you doing? Yeah. And I'd be like, I'm free running. <laughs> and they were like, what the heck is free running? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, you know, I explained it to him. I was like, yeah, so, you know, it's you doing some vaults, that's parkour, and then right. adding some flips to it, and it's called free running. And then they were like, okay. And then, you know, oh. at first it was nerve wracking, but then when they saw me starting to excel at it and they just was like, okay, you know, I trust him. He's right. got what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You know, I've seen him fall down and he's falling correctly. He's yeah, not yeah. hurting himself. Cause you know, I did martial arts too. So yeah, I right. kind of knew how to fall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, so, you know, what is the motivation for you behind just the whole self-teaching model? Yeah. What's your motivation for that? Yeah, my motivation is uh, work hard and play harder. I know that if I work hard at what I do, if I study the technique, and if I, I just keep working at it until I get it, yep. then I know I can play with it later and just have fun with it. Now, fairly recently, right here, we did a screening of John and Jane Doe. Indeed. And uh, I hear that it was a tremendous success. Talk about that night for me. Yeah, totally. So we had a really good showing. Like, it was a yeah. great turnout. A lot of people came. Okay. And we watched the film, and the crowd was just, they, they, were, they did everything that I thought they were doing more. You know, they laughed at the scenes that I made in there to be funny. Mm -hmm. You know, there's one part where uh, John Doe flips over a garbage can, and he falls over, and then they just all laughed. And I was like, yes, I got that emotion out. <laughs> and then, you know, the part where, uh, you know, the keeper comes and chokes them, and yeah. they're like, whoa. And then yeah. the jump scare just worked out perfectly. Yeah. And then we did a Q&A right after, and it lasted for 35 minutes. Oh, you know, nice. I was not expecting it to last that long, but yeah. it did and I was yeah. really happy about that. They yeah. asked really good questions and you know the cast and crew answered it really well 
and we all got put in the hot seat. Yeah, you know, yeah. it was pretty groovy. Well, you know, I understand you played several roles in the entire production of this film. Yeah. Talk about the roles that you played in this film. Totally, yeah, yeah. So I was the writer, of course. You yep. know, this idea has been in my head for a while. And, you know, in my class, because it started off as a school project, yep. but I wanted to expand on it more and just make it a whole, like, short film. Mm -hmm. So I wrote it, yep. and then I cast it, yep. so produced <laughs> technically. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and, of course, I directed it. Wow. And stunt coordinator. Yeah, I made sure that they... Uh, they had all the moves down right that they needed to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know. uh, there's a film that you're a part of now called A Chance in the World. Yeah. So yeah. talk a little bit about that. Totally, yeah. So, you know, May is Foster Care Awareness Month, yeah. and the movie is based on a true story, Steve Pemberton's story, okay. how someone who started off from rags can come and become something great. Yes. You know, he was abused into his, uh, his foster home that he was by okay. his foster mother and foster brother. Okay. That's who I play, Reggie, the foster brother. Okay. And it's just a phenomenal story because he just excels in life and he is so successful and he has his book and it's based on the movie the movie is based on the book that he made yeah. and you know I just give it all to him because it was amazing like yeah. just reading the script and seeing the stuff that he went through mm -hmm. and even when he was on location watching the scenes how you know he was able to just watch it and yeah just go through it and yeah. I was like wow this is a strong guy right there yeah yeah and me playing Reggie you know I I didn't take it lightly because he was really he was something else yeah, you know yeah. I've read the book and I was reading the everything that he went through and then reading the script doing my homework and I was like Reggie's a he's an interesting guy and not in a good way so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just wanted to make sure that in between takes I talked to the uh, the star Terrell Ransom Jr. He yep. plays younger Steve. You know, I wanted to make sure that we were cool because mm -hmm. we went through some tough scenes. Especially, yeah, yeah. there's a part where I beat him up. Okay. And yeah, he gets he gets pretty roughed up a bit. Okay. So okay. yeah, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> some some of the uh, karate techniques on him in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of that wushu. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna tell you, as an actor, I'm sure that you can you can talk about how a lot of the roles you step into, yeah. uh, they resonate with you in some form or another. Yeah, totally. So talk about how perhaps your role in A Chance in the World, mm -hmm. some of the facets of it, how that resonated with you. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, you know, of course, in high school, they were always bullies. So yep. I would just like try and uh, mimic them, what I would see. And that's what I put into the role. And, you know, also Maverick and Step Up to Fame, he was a school bully. Yep, yep. So, you know, I really just channeled my inner Maverick and I talked to Steve about how Reggie was inside of his household. And I just connected and combined those two characters into one yeah. and just remembered what I read. And that's how I really made Reggie come out onto the movie screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the message you'd give to folks that are watching that may also have a dream um, to reach uh, at the very least the accomplishments that you've done so far. Yeah. Give a message to those folks. Totally. First thing I would want you guys to do is make sure you put God first. Make sure God always leads you in what you do because if you involve God, I'm telling you, you're just going to go right up to the top. Absolutely. You'll start maybe at the bottom, but then you'll just pass everyone and go around the loops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Secondly, work hard and play even harder. Have great work ethic while you're doing your job, whether it's a nine to five or if you're doing something like movies or editing or anything yeah. of that wonderful sort in the arts. Yeah. Yeah. And then make sure you're kind. Kindness is the best thing you can have. You know, it's one of the fruits of the spirit in the Bible. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And most of all, stay golden. Indeed. You know, be true to who you are. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon. Stay golden.